What's going on guys? Let's talk about how to beat Gluttony, the newest boss in the first Ascendant. Alright, so to start off, Gluttony is probably the hardest boss that we've got so far. I don't know, everybody seems to struggle with the Frostwalker so, and the Molten Fortress. Um, so it, once they get here, it's just game over for them, I think. Uh, this boss one-shots you basically no matter what, so don't even try and build defense, doesn't matter. What you're going to want to do is just build straight out damage, that's the best advice I can give you. There is currently a Kyle build that you can do to take advantage of, say, uh, interesting bug, maybe? I don't know. We really don't know what it is. Um, but you can pretty much just one-shot the thing if you have enough damage. Um, currently, right now, I don't have enough damage to one-shot it, but with a group of uh, one other Kyle, and then we did find a, a third, we were able to just basically farm this boss for, like, probably close to an hour, two hours. Um, and we were getting like 30 second kills pretty much. I mean, it's not a hard boss at all to beat when you have the ability to cheese it. That being said, let's get into the actual mechanic of the boss. So the Frostwalker, if you do it the correct way, you're just going to want to deal damage to it on the shoulders. Hopefully is where you're going to want to aim first because you want to get the shoulders low. You don't want to break them right away because if you break them too quickly, um, you might miss your chance at getting good damage in later. Now, the boss has an immune phase that will trigger after you've dealt a little bit of damage to it um, over time, of course, just like every other boss does. In its immune phase, you're going to notice that there's these pods that have dropped around the map that have these orbs of ice coming out of them. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you shoot those orbs, they actually move in the direction that you are firing it towards. So, the boss has a wipe mechanic where on the back of its arm, the right arm to be exact so if you're looking at the boss it would be on the left but if you are facing the same direction as the boss it would be your right arm behind it there is a gauge that fills up with purple energy so instead of having the bar underneath its hp the bar is basically in the gun when that fills up it will then do its wipe mechanic which will wipe out everyone to prevent that you want to shoot these balls of ice towards the boss and have him absorb them absorbing them keeps his gun cooled down which keeps that bar down and prevents it from doing the wipe mechanic now in the immune phase those same generators that pump out these orbs are going to spawn in purple orbs as well these purple orbs are going to float towards the boss and will chain to the ice orbs now the purple orbs, if you shoot them, you can deal damage to them and they will eventually explode. You do not want the boss to absorb these as the boss absorbs the purple orbs. It fills up the bar to do its wipe mechanic faster. So what you're going to want to do is link as many of the ice orbs to the purple orbs and get them as close to the boss as possible and then blow up the purple orbs or detonate. It will trigger ice explosions next to the boss. After you've done it so many times, the boss will then be staggered and come out of its immunity phase, and you can begin doing damage again. And that is the mechanic. It is nothing too overly crazy or impossible. It's very, very simple to do. It's just that the toughest part about this boss is that it literally one-shots you pretty much. So you basically have to do the entire encounter without being hit. But as you can see in the footage above, we basically just ran the Kyle build that allows you to pretty much just one tap crap all over the place. So that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to let the video finish out where it is right here. You guys can, uh, can watch as we, as we do the damage right here. I don't, I don't remember which clip this is entirely as I'm watching it live, but, um, you can see we're building up some stacks and stuff from, um, a certain weapon mod. We all launch up and then just look at the damage. I mean, it's absolutely insane damage. That was with three of us. Um, pretty much all three of us are not full build either. And um, But you can see how quickly we're able to clear this thing. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show the time on it, but I mean, we're, we're clearing it in like a minute or less. Um, we had a couple of runs where we didn't full damage it, so we actually had to do the encounter. But, um, but yeah... See, I cut that one off, so I didn't actually get to see how fast we did that. There it is, 30, what is that, 30? 37 seconds or so, 36 seconds. 
super easy, but that's all you got to do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.